collaboration of arts, industry, and community. We are a nonprofit and we teach classes to almost 5,000 students a year in everything from stone carving, blacksmithing, metalworking, metal casting, machine shop, neon, jewelry, woodworking, and a whole lot more. I think that it's important to have things like this in the community because it's like you're learning but having fun. It's an amazing community. You get to meet a lot of different types of people. People are willing to share information. Um, class sizes are really small. There's all different ways to get involved. So you can come and take a class. You can come and volunteer. You can pitch a new class and start teaching. You can work on small projects. There's just so many different opportunities and ways to become part of that community. Um, and I think that's kind of why people are so interested in the Crucible and kind of what we're doing. In addition to our dedication to the industrial arts and learning, we are passionate about promoting innovations and alternative energy. In May of 2006, a Crucible team of environmentally conscious vehicle enthusiasts, engineers, and artists dubbed the Diesel Dozen came together to build D-Moto, a high-performance diesel motorcycle built from a European diesel BMW automotive engine and a lot of creativity, determination, and custom fabrication. Breaking the world land speed record for diesel motorcycles, currently at 105 miles an hour, will showcase the viability of alternative fuel technology in the high performance world. We also hope to establish two new land speed fuel classes in biodiesel and straight veggie oil, making the Crucible the world's fastest arts organization. Coming down. So you're, you're going to take this, which is from a BMW motorcycle, connect it to an engine that's from a car. Which was once in a car, yes. Yeah. We'll call and it, uh, build a custom frame for it. I think uh, everything's custom at this juncture. It's going to be pretty minimal. It's going to be just some chromoly steel tubes going along the bottom of the motor, tying into the front, and then tying into the gearbox. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get the front end over here and just sort of see what we're looking at. Something from a tree just fell on me, and it was kind of funny. I thought it was a bug, but really was just. This is what you call rapid prototype. Fixing it really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>